kidnapped from Israel into Gaza. The body of Elad Katzir was finally retrieved by Israeli forces. The 47-year-old had apparently been killed by his captors in January, but his sister also blamed her own government for his fate. She said in a statement, Elad was kidnapped from his home in near Oz, alive and well, and filmed twice during captivity. He could have been saved if a deal would have happened on time. Our leadership is cowardly and devoid of political considerations, and therefore it didn't happen. The Prime Minister is under mounting pressure over the conduct of a war he launched against Hamas after the militant group's deadly attack on Israel six months ago. There's mounting anger internally among the families of dozens of hostages still held captive. While inside Gaza, the scale of Palestinian death and destruction under Israeli bombardment has caused global outrage. This includes criticism from Israel's closest allies, especially after the accidental killing of a group of foreign aid workers this week. More assistance dropped from the sky as the United Nations warns of imminent famine on the ground. It looks impressive, but this is a tiny fraction of what's needed as Israel continues to restrict the flow of food, medicine and other supplies. Those who don't die in the bombing, they die when they're going to get a package of flour or the aid. There's no life. Life has become impossible. Back in Israel, they also mourn. These were some of the victims of a rampage by Hamas militants through a music festival on the 7th of October. Friends come to remember. I don't think anything anymore. I don't know. She can't come back anymore. I can only accept what happened and then hope that the people who are still alive and are in captivity will return home. A simple hope, but as six months of war has shown, this conflict has no easy answers. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.